What's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me again. You're watching Life with Lauren. I'm gonna do kind of like a random video today. So in the month and a half that I have been living married, I have learned and come to love a few of my registry products. Now, I'm not so much about cute. I love cute, but I also like functional. So this is gonna be a very functional video. Um, if you need any of these items in your house, I would suggest using them and getting them because they are worth it, okay? Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first item is um, sink scrubbies. So I'm going to also show a picture of these um, too so you guys can see them. But what they are, um, they are silicone um, type scrubbers. Now you know how you buy those uh, mesh scrubbers from the store and they have like a Brillo pad on one side and it's very soft on the other side. Uh, those, you usually just buy like a few of them and you throw them away after they kind of wear and tear. Or if they get like real grimy and stuff like that. Not anymore. These things are magic. Let me tell you why. Because when you're using those um, sink, those scrubbers, those sink scrubbers, um, or those kind of pot scrubbers, most of the time they'll scrape your pots. Um, and then also, like I said, they wear and tear, and then you have to throw them away because they lose kind of their edge. They you they lose that scrubbing power you know over time it just kind of fades um and you'll have to throw it away that's why they give you like three in a pack so you can use them again and again and again until it gets old and then you can replace it and then once all three of those are gone you're gonna have to go back to the store and buy more i don't have to do that with these let me tell you why um like i said these are like magic so it says the original sink scrubbies are perfect for everyday kitchen cleaning um unique material uh, is great for scrubbing dishes, pots, and pans. May also be used to safely clean, clean sink basins, counters, and stove tops. These things do not deform unless you just are really rough with stuff, whatever. Um, yes, so I'll let you guys kind of like take a closer look at it. Um, it's very kind of it bounces back it doesn't lose its form whatsoever I've used this for the entire month and a half I've been up here and I have not even used these two yet I've used one so far and it's still intact um, it cleans my dishes it doesn't scratch it doesn't um, lose its form and anything that gets kind of stuck any food or anything all I got to do is just rinse it out and it looks just like I bought it from the store I love these things because they're magic and the reason why they're magic is because they don't scrape my pots and pans. So all of them still look good, but they clean them very well. And so, yes, I would recommend buying these. I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond um, with the gift card that I got from my registry. Um, but um, I'm not sure if anybody else sells them. Again, they're called Sink Scrubbies. And they are magic. <laughs> So yes, I love these things, um, but I also do have a dish towel just in case, I mean a dish, you know, washing cloth, just in case, um, you know, I need to just wipe it clean, because you know, once you scrub, it don't really like wipe, it, you know, it's still, you might need to come behind it and like rinse it or, you know, wipe it clean with a dish towel, um, but other than that, it's, it's amazing, um, but I haven't had to worry about scratches. Um, my next item is a three-in-one griddle and grill so this thing is magic too let me tell you why because I love grill food and I love the idea of being able to cook on a surface and not have to do a messy cleanup so this thing um, is a three-in-one like I said griddle and grill so on the griddle you have two plates and I'll a picture should pop up um, so on the griddle you have two plates and on one side is uh, a griddle like a flat surface and then on the other side is a grill with grill ridges um, and then in the middle there's like a little slot for the grease and anything that you cook on it to fall into and then underneath there's a, a little pull out tray that you can uh, dispose of any excess like liquid or anything that um, drains from what you cook but 
Um, this thing is magic to me because I just plug and go. So I plug this thing up and it heats up just like a grill. I cook hot dogs on it, I cook vegetables on it, I cook burgers on it, I've cooked um, sausages on it, I've cooked, uh, well, so far I've not done a steak. <laughs> But maybe one day I will. I will let you know. Um, I have done. Um, I've done all kinds of things on this. Um, I've done bacon on it. I love doing bacon on the grill side of it. Um, I've done. You can do eggs on it if you like sunny side up eggs. Um, anything that you can throw on the grill or you can just griddle. Um, I haven't done pancakes on it yet because I just love um, one of my other pans, one of my other saucer pans that I do pancakes in. But otherwise, um, that griddle and grill is magic to me because it's just all in one. So I can do hot dogs on one side and then I can, or I can do hamburgers on one side and the other side I can do my bacon and then that's it one and done like I all I gotta do is just wash those pans off um, and they're very easy to rinse off the non-stick material uh, just stuff falls right off um, so you don't have to worry about messy cleanup afterward um, and then all you do is unplug it let it cool and then remove the plates to wash it um, remove the tray underneath to, to dispose of any liquids and then you done wash that off get rid of it in storage and you are set um, and that's just something that I've come to love in my kitchen um, the next item is a spice rack now I didn't think I would be able to use this but let me tell you I have not in, I have not um, had more fun experimenting with flavors in my life <laughs> than I have have now um, now I'm at even at the point now where I'm making my own breakfast sausage because it's literally filled with flavors natural flavors um, that I can use to create dishes and make them flavorful um, so yes they've got all kinds of things on it I, so far I, I've used um, all of my gourmet salt that's bad but whatever <laughs> I've used my some of my seasoning salt I've used my basil my marjoram my thyme my um, oregano I love oregano um, I've used the Italian seasoning mix I've used it um, a mix of herbs um, I've used all kinds of the red pepper flakes I've used those in my uh, pork sausages um, or my breakfast sausages I uh, don't eat pork sausages, but um, yes, I've used them to make my breakfast sausages and they are good, but I love it because it's just convenient. Like you don't have to go out to the store and buy a whole bunch of flavors. By the time you buy all of those spices from the store, you're well over $50, but this spice rack you can get for less than $50 at a local um, store now. Um, anywhere you can get it, you can get it for less than $50 and by the time you buy it, it's um, a bunch of flavors and the bonus is when you register your product you get um, all of your spices refilled free for five um, for five years all you have to do is pay shipping on them um, but other than that it's just been an amazing product that I use pretty much every day every day um, and I'm excited to expose other flavors in, on my spice rack and refill them for the next five years until I get tired <laughs> All right, so my next product is my silicone and bamboo utensils. Now, these things I live and breathe by. <laughs> I don't even use um, uh, utensils anymore to cook with or, you know, dinnerware to cook with. Sometimes I used to use dinnerware to cook with, but what, that, what happens is when you use um, your, you know, forks, spoons that are in your kitchen drawer to cook with um, they scratch your pans and you know that stuff is not good for your pan life so these things are magic first of all they are easy to clean silicone is amazing <laughs> okay if you don't have a silicone product then you probably have something that works for you but if you are interested in something that is easy to clean easy um, you don't have to you know worry about messy cleanups or anything scratching or any um anything like you know losing its form or anything like that silicone is the way to go okay let me tell you 
Uh, well, this is plastic. This is silicone. But anyway, so this is bamboo. Bamboo utensils. And they are great heat conductors, which means they are great in the pot. Um, they don't scratch your pan. They're easy to clean. Um, and you actually have to do a little bit more work to take care of these because then you deal with things like splitting, um, which I'll get to in my next product. But I love using these things um, because they're just easy to use um, and the food loves it too. <laughs> and my pans loves it too because they don't scratch um, and they make you feel pretty good. <laughs> I probably, these are horrible reviews. Thankfully, these people aren't sponsoring me to do this. This is silicone, but this is Caphalon. So Caphalon is amazing too. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. My next one is what I was talking about with my bamboo. So I also have wood cutting boards as well, which is great. Um, but this wood oil is like one of my favorite things to use so far. And I don't have to use a lot. As you can see, I have not used a whole bunch just yet and I have a long way to go. So to care for your wood, you need to um, moisturize it. Um, and so the way you do it is not by putting a whole lot of excess water on it. In order to clean it, you're going to have to like kind of, you know, run some water over it a little bit. But it's not to be submerged in water because what happens is when wood is submerged, it cracks. Um, so what you can do is when the water, when you have to wash your bamboo items or your wood items, you're going to need to moisturize it. And this wood oil... Um, it helps to maintain, read the Bible, because <laughs> it's true. It helps to maintain the natural beauty of cutting boards, chopping blocks, and wooden kitchenware. So what you do is you sprinkle a little bit, just a few drops of this onto your boards or your utensil or whatever, and then you wipe it down. So once you've washed your item, you want to pat it dry as best as you can, because wood holds water. Um, but you want to pat it dry as best as you can when it's pretty much, you know, dry then you want to drop a few drops of this on it and then spread it across and then let it soak so let it like absorb that moisture and then once it's kind of you know dry then you um you have protected wood and it looks good and it feels good um and it keeps it helps your products last longer my next item is my rice cooker which is my favorite tool cooking tool to use um, besides um, a few other pots that I might share with you but um, my rice cooker has been amazing because what I usually do is I put the appropriate um, measurements of water and rice in um, and if you want to flavor your rice you can put whatever flavors that you want in it and then you pop that baby close <laughs> press the start button and it cooks it for you you don't even have to stir it it does it for you like it spreads it evenly for you and it comes out so fluffy it keeps it warm in case um, you need to be warm for I believe up to 12 hours um, after it finishes cooking which is amazing but um, I would suggest keeping your rice moist if you're going to keep it in that long for warm um, but yeah my rice cooker has been amazing um, and it's been a great tool to use um, my next item, I have not used this yet, but I love this. It's my cake holder. Um, I got this from Target as well. It's completely wood on the bottom. I'll be using my wood oil to keep this baby looking pretty. Um, and then it's plastic on the top. Great for cakes, great for anything, and it's stylish. Um, you can just put anything in here like cookies, dessert, um, anything you want to show, any food, um, and it keeps it protected. Um, I like having it around because I'm going to get into baking one day. So whenever that day comes, I'll have something. Um, my second to last is my are my marble coasters. I love these things. They are easy to clean and they are durable, y'all. They don't bleed like they. You know, you don't have to worry about anything fading because it's marble. Um, so it's a pretty decent product. It's a pretty doable product. Um, and all you do is just wipe it down with water. Um, and then once you wipe it down with water, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> once you wipe it down with water, then that's it. You just let it dry, do its thing, um, and it's doable. And then last but not least, my cookie spatula. 
I got this from Bill. Now you probably think, why in the world do you need a cookie spatula? Let me tell you, this thing is life. When you need like a huge spatula, when your little spatula don't do the job, this thing comes in handy. I mainly use it for cookies. <laughs> I love baked cookies, especially Toll House. Um, so whenever I have a batch and I'm ready to eat, I just scoop that baby up <laughs> and throw it on a plate and eat them. Um, but for large items like your meats, um, for a large amount of vegetables, if you need like a spatula or something, you can use this as well. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It's very convenient. So if you have any favorite items um, that you received on your registry or that you, um, you know, have, just period, and you want to share them, comment below. Let me know. Let others know um, what you like. Uh, you can comment on your favorite items. If you have a question about anything that I mentioned in this video, let me know. Comment below. And it was fun doing this, y'all, but it's time to go. So until next time, talk to y'all later.